here I am at Games of Darkness Festival Day One, and I'm with Serenia. Okay. Nice to see you here. Okay. How was your trip over? Hmm? How was your trip over here? It was very good. Yeah, it went without any any problems. Good. Yeah, just a small delay on our last flight from Frankfurt to Birmingham, but um, apart from that, everything went went as planned. Excellent. I mean, it was a bit windy here at the last two days, so we, you know, imagined there might have been some few delays for people <laughs> trying to arrive here. A bit bumpy on the way. Yeah, actually, the our plane was like that at the beginning. Yeah. It was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, your plane, uh, main spot tonight, thing last tonight? Yes. Yep. And uh, looking forward to it? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to play. And How long since we've been here this time? Well, in the UK? It's quite some years. We played uh, close to London the last time. Right. And uh, I guess maybe four, four or five years ago, quite some years right. ago. Right, so, so it's good to yeah. have you back. Definitely good to yeah, have yeah, you back it's here. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting to be here yeah. again. So, so you've got a new album out? Yes. Yeah. And I forgot what it's called, he did tell me, but... Released <laughs> yesterday? Yes. Released yesterday, yeah, that's right. So we're looking forward to playing some of the new stuff as well yes, as some of the of old stuff. <laughs> yeah, this will actually be our first show where we play the new songs, so yeah, looking forward to that. And always cool to and interesting to see how uh, the fans react to the new material live. And I think the new songs are... Uh, very energetic and I think they fit really cool for a live typical live setting so I think they will work out very cool and yeah eager to play them and see how it works out. Excellent. And, and who did the artwork for, for the album, for the CD? Uh, it was a guy from uh, uh, Budapest. Uh, his name was Gaiola. Uh, it's the first time we worked with this artist and um, but I really think that he did a really cool job for us and he made a cover that I think reflects the, the you know, like the, the atmosphere and the, the feeling of the music and he put that into a, like a visual artwork to put on the cover and in my opinion it, it matches perfectly so I'm, I'm very happy with the, the work that he did for us. Excellent. And do you each have a favourite track of the new album? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for me. It's, it's always a difficult question. I, I think uh, all the songs um, had to kind of uh, earn their right to be on the album. I, I put as much work into all of the songs, and uh, there's there's nothing left over to coincidences on the album. Everything is thought out. But you know, if I have to pick. Pick a song. I think I picked the song called Serpent, which is a very groovy, powerful, riffy song, and it has more or less everything of the the typical Sarinia ingredients, so to speak. You know the different vocal styles, the choirs, and and everything. So I think it's a song that sums up more or less what Sirenia is about musically today. Did you have a favourite or not? I think I agree with him. That same one? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And you've been together for a while now. How do you think, because a lot of bands are together for a little while and then they all change around a lot, but you seem to have been together quite well. So what do you think gels your band together? What makes you feel so good together, work together? Yeah, actually now we know for how long? Seven? Seven years? Yeah. What? Some years, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit more than seven years Yeah. that we are together. So, yeah, we work very good since the beginning. Yeah. So, we kind of match. <laughs> so, we agree on the same things. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, yeah, we can work yeah. very good. Um, yeah. And it's nice. And all the band, we are friends. We work together, but uh, we are friends. So, it's what you actually want to find on your band. You want to be in a place where you are working, but you are having fun in the same time. So it's quite cool. Excellent. And when you're not playing together or recording together, do you meet up outside and or, uh, get together a lot, or do you go off and go and relax, <laughs> doing something else? Well, the problem is we live in different cities. Right. 
so it's quite difficult to to meet because everyone has their our we have our lives yeah. and we have jobs and yeah. so it's quite difficult to meet for other things that yeah. is not the show but yeah it's like half the band is living in Kristiansand which is you know in the, the very south of Norway and yeah. and me and the guitar player Jan Erik we are living in Stavanger so there's like 250 kilometers between right. us so for most of the time we, we meet up when it's band related stuff or whether it's rehearsals or, or shows or, or, or things like that you know but, uh, but you know whenever there is a special occasion or something we try to make it happen and for me I meet up uh, more more often with Jan Erik as it's, he's living in my my area so it's, it's more easy obviously but uh, but yeah it's, it's quite a travel it's like four hours travel for me to to get down to and <laughs> to have a coffee and then four hours back home so it's <laughs> yeah it's, it's a little way yeah. yeah actually so what do you have to do to prepare before you go live with your voice and stuff you know is there a lot of vocal training you do before you go on live or do you just Go for it. Yeah, I try to make some warm up with my voice, but uh, I don't do much because I have this kind of sweet voice. And if I force the machine after for the show, it's like I'm done. So I try to warm up a little bit. I have some tea, something warm. Yeah. So yeah, I sing it very low, <laughs> so I make sure everything is ready. Yeah. So, but uh, I don't. I'm not screaming everywhere. No. So <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And we touched on it uh, a bit about the album. I mean, it was released yesterday. Did you get have pre have it for pre order on sale, or, or was it? Is it just for since the day of the release? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, pre orders were <laughs> were done online mostly. I think for maybe the website of the record company. Yeah. And I know that they did a lot of uh, special editions also for the album this time. Uh, but uh, I don't know how how well the, the pre-sales did. I know one of the one of the special editions we did was sold out, so they had to to make more of it. Oh, that's good. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's a good sign at least. So yeah, hoping it hoping it will do well. I hope that the fans will will like the new album. I think it's a very diverse album and. Uh, uh, album that has a little bit of everything, I think. Um, so hopefully, hopefully the fans will, will really like it. I expect they will. And, I, and the crowd down there, because um, I went down to sort of the first band, and they seem very up for it, you know, today. So I think you're going to have a really good crowd for, for later on as well. So after you've played here, what are your plans next? Uh, we have a few more festivals this summer in um, Romania, Norway, and um, we, are, uh, we have some shows in Russia, yeah, and um, we're also working to put together a longer tour, a European tour, so uh, yeah, there will be, will be more shows now, it will be our focus now for the, for the coming months to, to play shows and present the new material live for our fans and stuff like that so it's yeah it's gonna be good to to get out of the studio and and start playing a bit again <laughs> yeah. it's, it's been a while since we, we played shows so and which do you prefer the bigger festivals or <coughs> smaller places like this where the crowds are more close and personal I, I really love both I think both of them have uh, their special thing in their their own way so to speak you know there's always something with the, with the huge festivals, with the atmosphere around it and the, the big crowd and, you know, standing in front of a, a big crowd and performing your own songs and getting the response from the audience. That's something really special, something great. And, and when you do also uh, smaller venues, you get more close to the audience and you can communicate better with the audience. And, and that is also, a, yeah, that's also a something special and, uh, and unique so I like both of them they they are both cool in their own unique ways yeah, that sounds really good um, I mean we've been seeing both haven't we we've seen the big venues and and the smaller ones 
Uh, and as you say, they, they're good for everybody because at big venues, people get to see bands that they probably wouldn't get to see normally because a lot of the small venues, there's not enough room for people to come and see you, though it's nice and close and personal. Um, I'm going to ask you a random question. Okay. You haven't been to England for a while, but what did you like, which is your favourite English food that you've had so far? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember where what we ate actually the last time. I think it was quite, our time schedule was really, uh, was really tight yeah. the last time, so we didn't really have we came and we had to go straight to the venue right. set up and and we had to go very fast back home so we didn't really have we didn't eat <laughs> yeah actually pizza hut it was it wasn't like a typical english <laughs> meal <laughs> you weren't here long enough it was just yeah. a flying visit I think, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, too short time i wish we had more time to to go around yeah. and see more True. of the city and uh, and try the local cuisine and yeah we like to do that as, as often as possible, but this time it was yeah a very tight schedule. Right. And if you could have sponsorship from any company, it doesn't have to be a musical, you know, anything with music, any company in the world, who would you like to see your name in sponsorship by on their product? That's a <laughs> difficult <laughs> question. A very difficult something <laughs> I never thought about actually. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I really wouldn't know, actually. Be it like a big a car company? There's, there's too many. Oh, that could be clothing. <laughs> you might get clothing or a car or I think free maybe airline. You never know. Should, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should maybe have, have something to do that had some kind of connection with our music or something. Yeah. A company a little bit in, in the same kind of style or whatever. So, But yeah, I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, maybe, well... Of course, I would like to see my name in like a music company or something. But uh, I'm a crazy, I'm crazy with the corsets. All oh, right. <laughs> so I guess uh, for me, maybe I would love to see my name oh, yes. with one of these amazing yeah. uh, companies. Oh, wonderful. That's Super really cool. good. So if anybody ever sees this interview, <laughs> you can sort of say, "Remember me? Yeah. <laughs> You've got any corsets? <laughs> I will do it." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glad to hear that. <laughs> so I asked another random one. I hope it translates all right. <laughs> it's the zombie apocalypse. Who in the band would die first? <laughs> and who would live the longest? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's very tricky. <laughs> I think I would die first as I'm the oldest and the uh, one with the most unhealthy lifestyle, so... <laughs> and then the rest of the tree can have a competition who will live the longest. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Well, thank you so much for giving me some of your time, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you later. Thank you. And um, enjoy the rest of your day and watching the other bands and preparing. And uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>